Square Website Builder for Beginners. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about Square and how you can use its features to create your very own online website. Now, having said that, let's just jump into it. So this is the website right here, squareup.com. Now, a lot of people confuse SquareUp with Squarespace. These are complete two completely different websites. Now, Square is a pretty amazing website where you can create your online business in just a matter of minutes. Now, you can go ahead and create different products, create an online store, hire other people, you know, you can like add in a delivery system, registration, contactless, contactless delivery and stuff like that. And they have other products that you can sell as well. But what we're here to do is we're here to create an online website, right? So what we can do is we need to scroll down over here into this section over here where we have inventory, online store, shipping messages and stuff like that. What we need to do is click on online store and click on learn more. It'll take us to this web part of this website where we can create our very own online store. Now, what we can do is we need to scroll down over here and then down below we will see website designs right so simply click on websites design over here and it'll take us to this part of the website where we can see all of the different templates that we have and we can go ahead and create one as well so let's go ahead and click on start free online store simply click on this option right here and it'll take you to the sign up process over here where you can enter in your first name your last name your email address and your country and then password and then just simply agree to their terms and services and click on continue so i'm gonna go ahead and sign up and i'll catch you guys in a little bit now once you have signed in they'll basically ask you what type of business that you have so that they can give you a very clear view of your path so just simply answer your question what is that the type of business that you have so food and drinks and uh, yes, yes we accept credit cards and stuff like that add in the name of your business right add in the name of your business add in your business contacts and addresses and postal code city and stuff like that and then just simply click on continue so i'm gonna go ahead and add answer all of these questions and i'll get back to you in a second so once you have signed up it's pretty simple all you have to do is just go back to over here square online where we have some of the web templates over here and over here at the top you will see you have a build a free online store let's go ahead and click on that so once you have signed up this is going to be your dashboard over here so you can have all of your options over here you you have your gross transaction your payment types i top items top categories and then you have your continuing your setup guide so it's pretty simple it's really unique so what we can do next is we can go ahead and come over here into the uh accounts and like this is going to be a dashboard right so what we can do is we can come over here and down below let's go ahead and click on continuing setting up our guide so we can activate our account take payments and stuff like that we can link our bank account and stuff like that so it's pretty simple it's really unique so this was my older account so i just signed in uh, i haven't signed in into it for quite a long time so once you're over here once everything is done what we need to do is we need to come over here into the app integrations right simply click on app integrations and over here you will we can do is we can go and visit the app market and it'll take us to square ups app market and where we can find our own website builder or we can find or connect other website builder as well so we have wix right here let's go ahead and click and click on wix to connect our site let's go ahead and click on get started and it'll take us to this the website where we can like connect our square with our wix account let's go ahead and click on started you can choose whichever website you want but i'm using wix right now because i prefer wix you can choose other uh websites as well so over here let me just show you real quick as you can see we have godaddy we have activity schedules for square and we have wix we have woocommerce mailchimp and many many more these were some of the you know most popular ones as well so if i come over here and click on categories we have e-commerce stores let's go ahead and click on e-commerce where we can see all of the e-commerce store that, that we can connect with square so we have all these different types of all these different types of applications that we can use from but for now i'm going to go ahead and choose wait i'm going to go ahead and sign in continuing with google and once we have chosen our account wait a couple of seconds and over here we, we will see we have all these different types of templates that we can choose from so we can choose whichever template that we want let's go ahead and click on this one right here let's go ahead and click on edit basically the uh, wix editor website will where we can go ahead and start editing our website for our square online store let's just simply wait a couple of seconds for the uh 
website builder to load up and because it sometimes takes quite a while but usually it doesn't because of the back end coding and the front end coding so as you can see it's right here everything is ready so this is how it basically looks like you can go ahead and edit every single section out you can see over here this is what i like about wix you can edit anything that you want you can edit the background the you can add images or remove images you can change every single aspect of it you can change the layout the text the font whatever you want you can change it on wix so let's go ahead and change a little bit about this website so let me just go ahead and change the uh text of it so if i come over here double click on search so we have the search button over here so if i want to design it i want to come over here and we can go ahead and design uh the search bar so we can choose whichever one we want so this one was a little bit black so i couldn't see it so we can go ahead and change that to something like this as you can see over here and once we do that as you can see we have changed it so now what we can do is we can change the this one as well because it was a little bit darker i can't see it we can choose whichever one we want so this is the one that was available and we can go ahead and choose this one or we can choose something a little bit more brighter something like this one but something that also fits into the overall theme of the website something like this i, I like this one so i'm gonna go ahead and choose that one so as you can see it's pretty simple it's pretty natural it's really easy let's go ahead and choose Choose, change the image of this one as well we can go ahead and change this image we can change the back one as well we can go ahead and change the layout maybe like you know extend it a little bit something like this to make it a little bit more dramatic let's go ahead and add that as you can see it's pretty simple it's really easy let's we can do whatever we want and once we have you know uh edited our website all we have to do is click on publish and there we go and there it's basically done we can go ahead and cancel it we don't want to edit the mobile version of it and once we have done that as you can see we have we've connected our store over here and we are ready to go we can go ahead and choose a wordpress website as well so if we choose wordpress we can go ahead and change that as well but wordpress costs like 25 dollars a month whereas wix didn't cost us that much and it's really really free next thing that we can do is we can go ahead and view this website and over here we will see this is how the website looks like so as you can see at the background there is a video playing of skateboarders and down below we have all these different types of images different types of skateboards that we are available for selling online like we can choose whichever one we want but this was just a tutorial for you to so that you could understand now that you have your own website and stuff like that what you can do next is you can add those items over here so if i come over here onto my home onto my dashboard we can come over here into the items over here over here we have our item library we can go ahead and add those items as well we have our image library over here we have our modifiers we have our categories we have our discount sales we have our options over here we have all the uh, the things that we need to do over here like it's pretty simple it's really easy so as you can see square is very very amazing it's a very easy website to handle you can pretty much do anything you can add you can add payment methods as well so over here i haven't done that so let's go ahead and add some of that so over here into the payment types we can go ahead and add some of the payments so as you can see right now nothing is over here no transaction is available and this is basically in our sales this is basically in our spoon this is basically in our report section over here as you can see so if i come over here into the sales summary we will have all of we can go ahead and export this payment method over here as well so it's pretty simple it's really easy it's, and it's really really fun to use so it's pretty and over here we have our subscription so if we can go ahead and create a plan for our subscription plan if we want to to sell subscriptions we can go ahead and create a plan so if i click on create a plan we can go ahead and create a plan but for now i'm not going to do that uh for now i'm just going to stick to the regular things for now i think because i don't like to have subscriptions but you get the general basic idea right like it's pretty simple it's really easy all you have to do is sign up over here go into the app integration connect your website or whichever website provider you are most comfortable with and then create your website and it'll be connected with squid square and then you can go ahead and start selling your business online with your new website so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys found this video helpful and enjoyable if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification and also share this video with your friends and family members who are trying to get into the business market or are trying to look for a video or are trying to you know start an online store then you can share this video with them as well so, so that they can get a pretty decent idea of where to start so having said that thank you for watching i hope to catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye